No, I don't waste no time. Well, what's going on guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel my name is joshua daniel george a social media marketing online coach i have my own social media marketing agency here in the netherlands called brampaneer that's currently doing multiple six figures and i also have my own education business where i teach you guys on how to do the same so how to start your own smma agency how to get your first client how to automate it and scale it so that you can also live life on your own terms now before we actually begin this video i do want to quickly mention that if you are on the verge of starting your agency or if you already have an agency and you want to take it to the next level then what you can do is hop on a quick uh, free 15 minute call with either me or my head of operations Elliot uh, where we can basically discuss my program and how we can help you push your agency to the next level and to see if we're a right fit of course if we, we are a right fit for each other and we believe that we can help you take your agency to the next level so that you can also scale your agency to six figures and beyond then we will offer you a place in the program if not no hard feelings there's a bunch of free content on my youtube channel uh, to help you get started as well now with that said um, i want to briefly discuss why i think you should stop pitching uh, your potential SMA clients and this comes down to anxiety and stress that you feel prior to the call and I just want to give a quick anecdote to a while back when I was um, basically when the agency it was just before the corona period and we lost a couple of clients due to corona um, and when I went into the calls I felt that pressure of okay you know we're literally two clients down here um, we, we've got these really ambitious goals. Every single month, we set a new goal, a new target to increase that monthly recurring revenue uh, every single month. And then all of a sudden, we were two clients down. So, and we had the goal of increasing the monthly recurring revenue, but we started off like with, with two goals down, basically. So we went. I went into these calls, these sales calls, knowing in the back of my head, like I need to close this client because I need to basically rectify losing those two clients. And it's almost like they can sense it that you are not willing to walk away from that call. You want that sale more than they do. And, you know, every, of course, all the, the big sales experts say this. You always need to be willing to walk away from the call or walk away from the deal. And at that moment in time, I was not willing to walk away from the deal. And obviously the calls didn't go too well. One asked to see, um, basically one asked to have, like recommendations or not recommendations they wanted to know what previous clients have worked with and if they can get in contact with them uh, we sent over a bunch of details and numbers and contact details of previous clients uh, but we just never heard back from them and then another one said that they want to try it themselves first and you know it's both a little bit of bullshit reasons of it's basically you know kind of ways of saying no basically that they don't really trust me with their service or trust me to take them to the next level and like I said, I started feeling anxious on these calls because I knew that, okay, if I want to reach my goal, I need to, my apologies for that. Uh, if I want to reach my goal, I will need to uh, rectify, you know, the, the, the loss of the clients. So rather than, for example, trying to get an extra two clients in this month, I needed to get four in because I needed to, you know, basically compensate for the two lost. And yes, it's possible, but it's a big ask. And basically what I then did was I spoke to a friend of mine called Max Hindle, who is a mindset coach um highly recommend you check out his stuff he's massive on tiktok and basically he he teaches people how to set up systems how to get your mindset on point how to basically release release anx anxiousness anxiety and stress etc um from your life so that you can be more productive and get more done and basically live a more fulfilled life and we discussed this like what why what is the fear of these calls like what is it that um these calls are doing to me that i can't actually get these closers anymore um obviously you know we, we then quickly discovered it was the anxiousness etc and it was getting to a point now where that even prior to the calls that i was having i felt that anxiety i felt like oh you know it's going to be the same old again i'm going to feel nervous on this call i'm going to try and get this client in no matter what and it's going to come across as needy etc so we quickly discovered that okay that is basically what i needed to remove 
and I won't go you know into all of the details of like the exercise that we did he's like a hypnotherapist as well like extremely powerful stuff stuff that I previously didn't really believe in but this was like next level stuff and uh, basically what he said what really basically took all this like drove it home for me was it's just another call it's like a brief conversation with another potential you know another human being basically not even a potential client and we basically went to a point where I wasn't anxious or he basically asked me you know when are you at ease and I said well it's on the coaching calls you know it's literally the same format it's zoom I'm in front of a screen I've got the camera pointed on me I've got the microphone next to me and I'm providing value and other than that like it's the exact same format and the way I sit, etc. Like nothing changes. The only difference is that on these sales calls, I feel that I need to pitch something um, or I need to convince them that I am the right fit, you know, for the for the job, etc. Whereas with the coaching calls, I'm just providing value. And we basically did a few exercises that transcended like the the feeling of providing value from the coaching calls to the um like the, the sales calls etc you know it's, it's a bit it, hard to explain because it's a bit eerie theory but basically what it came down to is that i was pitching the clients rather than just having a conversation with them and this is also something that joe soto explains in his program for those of you that are unfamiliar with that he is basically one of the og smma gurus out there um he's, he's actually an old guy he's not even from our like age or generation or anything like that and he basically said that one time when he was um so what the way he used to pitch clients is he used to bring like a small uh briefcase where he had like slides and, and images etc of what he would do and there was one point where he went to a meeting because he had the meetings physically like again this is a long time ago he went to the meetings uh physically and on one of the meetings he forgot his briefcase and he was nervous he thought oh you know i don't have any proof now that i can actually deliver this so he went into the meeting and he said to the business owner he said guys my apologies, but I've left my briefcase at the office. And the owner of the business said, oh, it doesn't matter. Just just talk. Just talk. That's all he said. Just talk. And Joe went into the meeting. He uh, just literally just introduced himself. He asked questions, which is another very important thing. Because on these calls, you do not need to necessarily be pitching. All you need to be doing is asking questions. And that is what Joe did uh, in the meeting. He asked questions because he didn't have anything to show anymore. So... You know, we might as well just ask them questions to get to learn more about their business. And he came away from that call with the deal. He actually closed the clients without his briefcase, without his slides, without his graphs, etc., and all his little presentations because he just asked questions. He just talked. It was a brief conversation between two human beings. And at the end of the call or the end of the meeting, they realized that they could create a win-win situation. And that is how you need to be conducting these sales calls as well. And that is how... I basically go into my sales calls from that moment onwards. And yes, you know, previously or prior to that, I had the confidence, etc. But because of the coronavirus, because of me losing the two clients, um, I sort of lost that confidence. And that is when the anxiety kicked in. Um, and it's normal. You know, at the end of the day, like we all see these highlights of all these people closing deals left, right and center. But at the end of the day, guys, being nervous for a sales call is completely normal. But the best way to overcome that is to just ask questions and to consider it as a brief conversation between two human beings. So when you go into these sales calls, do not pitch your service, do not even mention your service, just ask questions. Come across as a human being genuinely interested in that client's business and then if you think you can help them go from point A to point B, then you can basically suggest what you would do and then you'll notice that you'll close much more deals because of it because you're more relaxed you're more human-like, you know, you're not trying to pitch them or persuade them that they need your service, etc. And if you truly believe that you can actually help them, you'll come across as more confident as well. So that is all I've got for today. Hope you enjoyed this little anecdote and this little video. Like this video if you got something out of it. Comment down below what you'd like to see from the channel next. Subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll see you all in the next video.